Hello and welcome to the Dusty Joypad. I'm Martin and today we're going to be playing Knights of the Round on the Arcade. Let's get it on! Right, so for this what I'm going to do is, I think this is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this my £1 Arcade section. And I'm going to give myself four credits like I would have done by sticking a £1 coin in the arcade machines when I was younger. And I'm going to see how far I can get on a pound. So four, pound, uh, four goes. One pound, job done. Let's put the coins in. I think I've just pressed it four times there, so I'm guessing I've got credits now. So let's see what happens. Oh, it says free play. Is that because I put money in? I don't know. We're going to have four goes, though, anyway. So I'm going to choose... Who should I choose? We've got Percival, we've got Lancelot, we've got Arthur, and we've got Percival. I'm going to go for Percival because I like his hairdo. So let's go for that. Okay. Let's see what happens. So we've got a nice little map there, and we're just going to work our way through and just smash everybody up. I don't know if you've ever played this before. Look at that axe, that is good. This is sort of like a, a mix between oh, Chop Chop and Jump Jump. This is like a mix between Final... Oh, I love all that. A mix between Final Fight and Golden Axe. Very much like Golden Axe and Final Fight, except it isn't the weird little dwarf that's got an axe. It's a really cool massive guy with a dodgy haircut okay and I love the way you can um, it, it doesn't really affect a one player go but if you've got two people playing and you've got and like you could drop a big chest of money on the floor treasure or whatever you can chop it up to like split the wealth out yeah and uh, that means the two of you can have a bit of a share of it and I think that's really cool nice little thought there nice little touch anyway let's chop them up chopsy oh, okay yeah, this is a nice little game. I don't ever remember. I mean, I might be mistaken. I, oi, get off me. I don't ever remember a console port of this or, you know, a home version of it at all. Oh, I never owned it. And uh, it's, just, it's the sort of game I would have bought if... Well, I wouldn't have bought it. My parents would have bought it. Let's chop him up. Come on, Scorn. Oh, my gosh. Just chop this geezer up. And uh, it's totally the sort of game I would have asked my parents to buy for me. Because, uh, oh my god! Oh, I, I got three lives anyway. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, I was well into Final Fight. I was into the the Turtles arcade game. And I know, I know that never actually uh, made it to console as such. There was certainly Turtles games out, which I had. But oh, look at his little laugh, little woman laugh. And... Um, yeah, anyway, this game never came out. Fantastic game. And I always remember, uh, I've got a very fond memory of this, on a um, on a Friday night, and uh, you'll, I'll probably tell you the same story every time I do one of these arcade games. But on a, uh, I have some food. On a Friday night, I used to go uh, swimming club. And uh, my sister used to go first. Uh, earlier on, earlier on in the day, earlier on in the evening. There we go. Scorn's dead. And uh, I used to go a little bit later on. And while she was swimming, I used to play on all the arcade machines. Or did she used to go later than me? No, no, no. It was me. Uh, I was like one. Anyway, I used to play on all the arcade machines, and I used to hang around and watch all the other kids play the arcade machines as well. And oh my gosh, yeah. In fact, I used to hardly put any money in at all. I used to watch them play. Well, they play it occasionally, but. Yeah, I used to watch this one quite a lot. Oh my god, I haven't got a lot of time. Chop, chop! Anyway, this was a firm favourite, this was. This is why this is the first one I've picked for the uh, £1 arcade. So, uh, yeah, really like this one. In fact, I think a lot of the games that I'm going to be playing are, are this sort of uh, style of game. You know, the side scroll, you know, classic Capcom, you know, beat em up. They were the best, in my opinion. They were the really, really good ones. And the sort of games I used to like playing on arcades were, um, it was the beat em ups. So we're talking Knights of the Round, we're talking Final Fight, uh, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, the X Men. X Men was a really good one as well. The Turtles. Do you know, and the Michael Jackson, the Moonwalker one, right? I remember the Moonwalker arcade game was really, really good fun. And it was very different from what I remember to the. Um, to the like the Mega Drive version of it. I don't know if it was out on SNES or about anything other, you know, but the the Mega Drive one certainly it was very different to that. For one you could have four players playing at the same time. 
which was quite common in a lot of these games, like the Simpsons one, you could be four people, the Turtles, you could be four people. Yeah, well, well good, that's got the treasure. Yeah, the Michael Jackson one was good from what I remember, and there was a red one, a blue one, a white one, and probably a black one, but, you know, I'm not sure about that. A bit ironic. But, um... Oh, come on, come on, come on, chop, chop, chop. I, th I don't know if you can get on this horse. Ah, oh, yeah, and another game that was like it as well. And I cannot forget this one because it is an absolute classic. Oh, there we go. It's got on the horse. Was um, Captain Commando. Oh, I didn't last long. <sighs> anyway, Captain Commando. That was a really good one. And there was level up. Look at that. I've got some muscles there. Some more muscles. Everyone needs a few more muscles. And uh, Birdman. There we go. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there was different... That was, that was an odd one, because you could be some kind of, like, space-age superhero thing who... Oh, what's this? Oh, that was good. And that was Captain Commando. And then there was, like, a robot... Can I chop this? There we go. Uh, a robot character who was called... I think he was called, like, Babyhead or something like that. And he was basically... Oh, wait, what's going on here, then? He was just a... Uh, like It was like a little baby, little tiny baby with a dummy in his mouth. And, um... He would sit uh, sit inside, like on top, inside the uh, the robot, like its head type thing, controlling it. And uh, he was cool. He was really cool. And then there was like some kind of mummy character. And then there was like a ninja as well. And I think a ninja could chop people in half. He's the only one that could chop them in half. He was cool. Very cool. Right, come on, let's get these guys. I don't think I've got the special move. I just tried pressing the third button. I, was, I couldn't remember if you get like a special move or not, but I don't think you do. Although, although, if you hold, if you press uh, jump and uh, attack at the same time, like most Capcom side-scrolling games, you got some kind of energy-wasting super move that will get all the people around you. So that's pretty cool. Fruit basket there from the wood. Treasure from wood. Excellent. I don't know why they do that. Oh my god. The sword master. Oh my gosh. What is this? Let's have his horse. Let's have your horse. Can I turn around? How do I turn around? There we go. Brayford. Is it Brayford or Brafford? Oh no. Oh my good lord. Come on. Chop. Chop, chop. Flip it. Chop, chop, chop. Okay, so. Okay, so we've got one more here, and then that's the. I think my first continue gone then. I'm sure that'll be my first continue. So I'll have. Presumably three left, because I think your first go counts as your first continue. Of course it does. Yeah, so you go. Uh, continue. Yeah, I'll start. Can I select character? Yeah, I'm going to be Arthur. We've got to be Arthur. Of course. Chop the horse. Chop the horse? Chop the sword. There we go. Oh my gosh. This, I'd say there's no point even getting on the horses, because as soon as you do, you get swiped off of them. Oh, what that's all about. Do the enemies take things as well? Or is that me? Come on. Flipping out. This is getting intense. Come on, Brayford. Brafford. Brafford. Come on, chop, chop, chop. Right, there we go. Chop, chop. This music is it's intense music. Chop him off the horse. Oh my god. There we go, there we go. Oi, I thought I'd done ya. There we go, let's have a sip of beer. Need it. Hold on. Mm. Yeah, good old Excalibur. Good old Excalibur. Oh, yeah. Why does this one when it gets bigger? Oh, okay, so we're inside some kind of castle fort. Well, head into it, I guess. Let's just chop it up. That is a massive fruit basket. I'll tell you what. Considering it's only fruit, you eat that, you ain't moving anywhere. You'll be you'll be like that fat man down there. No wonder he's fat. That's the sort of amount of food they're dishing out. Even if it's just fruit, I mean, come on, the sugars that are in that, you know, because obviously a lot of fruits are, you know, naturally plentiful in sugar and whatnot. You eat all that, you know, it is, of course it's going to be unhealthy, isn't it? Oh my God, look at the size of that sword. How's he supposed to lift that? That's a big sword. Sword man. Now, I think uh, Marvel Mr. Trick with there should have a, a man with a massive sword and called him Sword Man. Okay. 
pink i've told you about the color pink and and games before usually it's mega drive games but you know we, we experienced it with um what was it what was this do we experienced it with um what's it called i just mentioned it a minute ago golden axe it's golden axe 2 you got the pink enemies there and considering they were pink they were a heck of a lot stronger than the other ones you expect it to be you know a little bit you know well, i don't know whatever you know i'm not not one to judge but you know pink that's the color to look out for pink ones and then the black ones the black ones are the hardest of all i don't know if that it's going to be the same sort of idea in the haunt of money there we go i have the same idea in this come on come on oh gosh have some of this there we go you hold your head oh look pink and blue pink and blue so the fruit there we go anyway I wonder whose idea it was because obviously it's the same sort of idea as you know like your streets of rage and uh, your final fights and all that shenanigans where you knock over a bin or you smash a telephone box or you knock over you know or you chop up a, a pile of wooden wood with your sword or whatnot and a load of fruit or a ham comes out of it or something who thought that I mean that's a mad idea that is Skywalker Oh, I see. Come on. Chop him up. Oh, gosh, come on. Honestly, these people are jumping about too much. Considering I've just slashed them a new one, you know what I mean? They're still jumping about the place. I'd be in tatters on the floor. Face hanging off. Come on, remove your face. Uh, again, I wonder what the story is in this. Well, I mean, obviously... You're the Knights of the Round Table, you know. But I wonder if you're a... Uh... And obviously there's some kind of massive bad guy at the end. Because there's always a massive one, like insanely large. Bigger than any human could ever be, you know, type thing. But uh, I, wonder what's I wonder if he's, like, taken over the kingdom. Or he's taken Maid Marion. Or something like that. Or whether it's just something else. I don't know. We'll find out. We might find out, we might not. I don't know if we'll get that far. Oh my god, I thought I was going to go in there then. Have some of this. That doesn't actually do too much. I think it takes about a quarter to half their energy when I do that. But it takes some of mine as well, so it's not even worth it really. Well, I suppose it is. If you're out of yeah, have some of that. Alright, that door opens quick. I don't know why it just doesn't roll underneath it really. It'll save them a bit of hassle. Okay, have some of that. I jump on the horse. Come on, let's. One more go. One more go on the horse. Come on. It's a shame that the horse doesn't breathe fire or something, or, or headbutt them. That would be cool. Here we go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Let's go through the door. Come on. The annoying, I tell you what, the annoying thing with the horse is it doesn't just change direction when you move. You have to press the jump button to uh, make it change direction. Which I suppose, in a, in a way, actually, when you get used to it, I suppose it's a bit of a handy thing because then, you know, you don't have to, you know, worry about dodgy camera angles or movements you know pointing you in the wrong direction when you're when you're trying to you know muller a bad guy or whatever oh my god come on did um i'm a little bit confused did percival have i was percival before wasn't I? Yeah. did percival have less lives than uh, arthur because arthur seems to have had a whole ton of lives hey level up oh look at that I'm loving that. I wonder if he's stronger because of it now. You know, like, resistant to attack. There we go. There we go. Come on, chop. Chop from the horse. There we go. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of um, rah, the Kurgan from Highlander sitting atop his horse, just slashing people as they went past. Now, that would have been a cool game. I don't know. I, you know, I don't even know whether there's any Highlander games out there. But how cool would that be, a Highlander game? There's different ways that... Oh, that was a magician. There's uh, different ways that could have gone. That could have been sort of like a Street Fighter clone type thing. Or it could have been some kind of... Ah, oh, do you know what that reminds me of? Sorry, I don't mean to shout then. The game Barbarian. Now, th oh my gosh. Now that was a cool game. I was just trying to think how, how they could do like a Highlander game. But a game like Barbarian, I don't know if you remember that, because there was two different types of 
Barbarian games. I think there was a Palace Software one, and then I think there was a um, was it Palace Software, and there was another one as well. I can't remember, but um, one of Psygnosis is it? I think there's a Psygnosis one, or a Palace Software one. I don't know whichever. It was like a one-on-one -on -one barbarian fighting match, and if you pressed back and the button, because you only had one button at the time on these games you would spin around and you'd do some kind of like um, head chopping technique and you would either sort of you know just you know hit them normally or you would do like a one hit kill and you would chop their head off it, oh it, just in one go you'd chop it off in one go and uh, this little green to me like a frog it's like some kind of weird troll or an imp or something I don't really know would come along oh my god look at that look at that that was proper meat that was it's like an elephant's trunk um, it would come along and drag the dead body away and then kick the head away so uh, it wasn't like stinking out of the place I guess let's go through here oh my gosh I can't oh. come on butleress okay yeah anyway barbarian check it out I think there were sequels to it I, I, I don't really know I'm not too sure if they were they weren't very good and that's my official uh, word on it. But yeah, check it out, Bob Arian. I wish I tell you what, I wish they would um, re-release that in some. I mean, it's not going to be HD because you know this. We're talking a game that's probably released in like the late 80s. I think it was. It must have been like 89, 88 or something. It ain't going to look pretty. It might even have been earlier than that. But uh, that is a game that I would love. To play again. I mean, yeah, you can emulate emulate it or whatnot. I think I've got it, you know, on some kind of Commodore 64 um, emulation or whatnot. And it, yeah, it looks all right. But I think an official re-release of it would be excellent. I would, I'd actually pay for that. That'd be really good. Definitely. Anyway, there's tigers here. I wonder why the tigers. How the tigers know that I'm the enemy? Or well, I'm not. They're the enemies, really. Although I'm the enemies of them, but. You know, I wonder how he knows not to eat the other people. Uh, I always wondered that because it's a, it's a it's a tiger at the end of the day, and I don't know how they would train it to not attack every single one of these people because there's a lot of these people. You know, I'm sure he hasn't got every single one of their scents unless they have to wear a particular, you know, aftershave. Oh my gosh, yeah. A particular aftershave or something, you know, have a little squirt of it. Yeah, I'll have all the money. Oh my gosh, I can't. He burnt it all. Come on, Arlon. Oh my gosh, what is this chap doing? I like those uh, fist nails that he's got. They're pretty cool. But not cool for me, but cool for him. I'd like fist nails. Fist nails and a mace. Yeah, I'll continue. So... Uh, where are we gonna go? We're gonna go for Lancelot. Yeah, we'll go for Lancelot. Oh, he's only got three lives. Oh my god. Maybe he's super strong or something. Okay, so I think we've got one continue left after this. Because I think it's on free play, so I, I'm guessing that um, I don't have to press the button to give myself extra monies. So uh, I think we've got one continue left, if I'm being honest. So we'll do this, and I think we've got one more go as well. So we're alright, we're about halfway through, halfway through the carnage. Although judging by this chap here, I think, I don't know, I don't know, yeah, if I keep walloping him like this, look at that, look, I'm just doing him. Look at this, come on, Lancelot knows the score. Oh, he's going to drop this money, I get it, well he's already dropped it, I'm going to collect it. Here we go, chop, 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 oh my gosh, he's murdering me. There we go, maybe this is why, oh my god. Come on! There's got to be a. Uh, oh my god! I, I, um, anyway, come on, Lancelot. Chop, chop, chop. Oh my god! I'm too busy concentrating to talk. What is going on? That's not like me. Come on! Where are all these people coming from? It's like they've got an infinite supply of baddies. Oh my god, I've literally got one continue left after this. Come on. I think if I die again and I lose I use my last continue, I'm going back to 
Percival again because that hair needs another appearance. I liked that hair. I liked his hair a lot. And I think, I think, because... Uh, there we go, right, okay, last time, last chance. Percival. I think when he uh, powers up, I think he loses his hair. He looks like somebody might go bald, actually. He loses his hair, and there we go. Oh, Percival's got seven lives. Okay, so each person has a different amount of lives. Let's gonna have a sip of beer, hold on. Hmm. Good man. So I think he goes bald, and then he gets a massive beard as well. I don't know if it's just wishful thinking, because that that would be so cool if he did. I'm really hoping he does. Knights Festival! Okay. Let's chop this geezer up here. Oh, I can't. Come on. I'll tell you, all that Metal Gear he's wearing, it's not exactly protecting him, is it? It's literally covering a shoulder and an arm, and the rest of him is bare chest. And he's got a leg in it as well. Oh, level up! So, um... Yeah. That's not really helping much. And it is massive. It's oversized. Look, you can hardly see over it. It's covering his face. Look at that. If he turns to the left, if someone goes, Hey, Percival! And they're standing in that crowd over there, go, huh? He wouldn't know, would he? Oh, what does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, that is cool. Oh, don't kill my men. He's literally done them all. Okay, come on. Let's do some chopping. Oh, look, I told you. Black ones. That's, um... Yeah, he's dead easily. What am I talking about? There's one of these guys here. Right, so this is my last continue. I've got to do myself proud. Level up! Oh, he's getting there. He's getting there. Oh, he's got gold armour. This is the way. More expensive. It means it's better. Phantom. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, indeed. What is this geezer doing? I'll just wallop him with my massive axe. It makes you wonder how these people get special powers. I wonder if um, Merlin's about. You know, I'm just thinking of the um, Disney film Sword in the Stone because that was Arthur and all that business. So this is obviously in the future of that. You know, that little boy pulled out the thing, the sword, little Arthur, and then um, he grew up, obviously, and now he's made friends with Percival. He's made friends with Lancelot and what have you. And uh, Merlin's disappeared. And now I don't know whether Merlin's died because he was, you know, bless his heart, he was quite old in the uh, in the cartoon. So maybe he passed away. I don't know. I hope he didn't though because I thought he was really nice. Oh well, he's grumpy. He's grumpy as anything. Is Al? Yeah, Al was all right. Al turned out all right in the end. He did have an Al, didn't he? Oh, we are talking about Sword and Stone. Yeah, now, didn't he? Archimedes. That's the one. Come on, I just got meat cleavers. Do him. Come on, we can do him. Chop in the head! There we go. Have another sip. We're gonna level up. I thought we were then, I literally thought we were about to. It's okay, we're halfway there. We're halfway there. Expedition. So we've got this, I've got five lives, come on. We can do this, Percival. Let's chop him a new one. I wonder if he has to sharpen... Oh my gosh, there we go. I'll have that. I have to sharpen his axe at all. Because all the um, wood that he's chopping, all the treasure chests that he's just walloping, and obviously the bones that he's slashing for as well, it's going to be taking a bit of a hit to his axe. You know, so he must have like a... You know, what I thought was always good about Golden Axe, oh, a little tea tray there, um, was that you had that little section between the levels where, you know, you was chopping up those poor little imps to get their food and get their magic potions and whatnot. And it was during this period where I just thought he was, you know, 
Axe Battler or, you know, Gimli or whoever, whatever his name was, or the woman, Tiara, I don't know, would be sitting there, you know, sharpening their swords again, you know, chilling out a little bit, playing a harmonica or something, and, uh, you know, you don't get that here. You don't get that here. It's the one thing I miss from it. There's little wind down times, a little wind down period. I thought it was always good. All four lives just noticed that. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, nearly three. Seriously, he's just chopped my face off. Come on. Well, I've already accepted the fact that I'm not going to complete this. But let's. Oh my god. See, this is what I mean. I'm getting my buttons confused and I'm aiming the wrong way. Come on. Alright, yes, I know, I know. Oh Level up! Oh, I look exactly the same. Shot that owl up. Why is it flames? Why is it going into flames? Not like I'm playing, so I think that's really cool. Exploding hawk. Okay. And where does he carry all this money? I reckon, I got an idea. I reckon he's melting it down, and that's why his uh, armor's turning gold. Because he's collecting all this coinage and whatnot, all crystals and jewels and whatnot, and he's melting it down, and uh, he's forming new golden armor out of it. That's got to be what it is. Okay, come on. I've got a feeling we're not going to get past the scene here. We might be. Oh my gosh. Come on. Kill Skywalker. Kill Skywalker. Oh no, two lives left. Well, it's. Two plus life zero. Life zero, I think. Okay. Come on, get him off the horse. Get him off the orange horse. Poor horse. Get on the horse. Oh no. He must be absolutely knackered by now. I mean, my thumbs are hurting playing this. He's been wielding that axe around for the past 25 minutes or whatever, however long it's been. And, uh,. All that's happened to him is his muscles have gotten bigger. I'm not surprised at that, but my thumbs aren't getting bigger. They're going to drop off. Right, horse and horse action. Oh, no. Uh-oh, we're on life zero, everyone. Here we go. Prepare for the end. Prepare for the end. Come on. We've got to be very careful here. Although, careful isn't a word that um, I'm usually used to, because if you see my videos, I normally just go ballistic. Okay, let's ch chop. Oh, this is it. This is it, everyone. This is it. Oh my gosh, for some reason, give me an extra life. Come on. No! Oh. Well, that was my four goes. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I really hope you enjoy that. And stay tuned for another £1 arcade coming up very soon. Thanks again. Take it easy. Bye for now.